Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. We are here in one hell of a quest chain, and one hell of a horrific quest chain, though. If uh, my presumptions are correct, this fair lady here got buried by her father, and... Well, basically got out of her coffin, right? Because this is uh, the last episode we realized this is the third one. You don't die here. So, if you die in a coffin and resurrect back in the coffin... Are you gonna die in the coffin again and resurrect over and over again until you crawl out? Let's see what happens. I owe you an explanation. A and little bit. an awful lot of gratitude. Uh, maybe not. I'm sure you've realized the truth by now, but I'm no treasure hunter. No, you're Sorry. a wayward daughter. I just want to know the truth. It's no different from any other sorry tale of Brightwood. My mother succumbed to despair first, and then the vigil put my father under guard. By the end, they were ready to bury all of us alive. But you escaped? Thanks to Balder. He chewed through the ropes the same night they dug my grave. After that, I ran. Oh, okay. It took me years to work up the courage to come back. The basket, the flute, and knife. All the things you found belonged to my family. What is still missing? You mean, you keep helping me? I don't know what to say. I suppose um, I, I never found any trace of Roderick, my brother-in-law. I know his family came from a village to the west, but that's all. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to help you out. And I'm really glad that she she kind of got away. Like, holy crap, like, I was completely wrong. But it was a, it was a horrific uh, idea, right? <laughs> Getting buried alive. So let's see where she's sending us. 127 meters away, so not really that far. We're going to go to Sinakovic Farm. Or Sina... Sina... Sinanovic? Yeah, Sinanovic. Not Sinanovic farm for clues about Roderick. Repeat the lost and look for any signs of Roderick. The Roderick has become lost. No, nope, you go out of guard mode. Nothing here. Yeah, I know there was a chest there. Nothing here. So how many lost do I need to beat? Doesn't really say that, right? Oh, Doran Shield Strap. Search Grey Brook Farmstead for clues about Roderick. So it's to the left that we need to go now. Season XP booster is no longer in effect. Yeah, a couple episodes ago. Well, on the first episode of this quest chain, we kind of activated it to see if it would still help. Or if it was fixed in helping with your quest progression. But it seems it still doesn't. And it seems we're going to need to open chests here. A broken shield. Dr. Edelwyn. Okay, let's uh, head back. And she's right next to Pastor of Punch. Okay, she didn't move. I do wonder who Balder is. Oh, Balder was the one who set her free, right? Oh, so... They wanted to bury the wolf alive as well? Holy crap. That's Roderick's shield. But you found no other trace of him. Then, at least I can hope that he left the vigil behind and found a better life elsewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh... That's a good hope that you have. Let's complete the quest. There is one last thing. My sister Emmeline's necklace. It was the only real valuable we owned. I'll bet Archminister Havelock took it. He always was a greedy bastard. I'll get it back. You need closure. And a bit of revenge. If Havelock suffers for what he did to my family, so much the better. He'll be holed up on the island. The vigil kept their treasury there. Okay. And yeah, the, uh, the hall of the, what, what is it? The, uh, the Heart of Darkness Elite. It is uh, one hell of a boss. If you're lower level, guys, 
it is one hell of a boss to defeat. I remember that I needed to at least have like two, three people until I was level 52, 52, 53. Uh, as a healer, I could solo it, but it took it took at least 15, 15, maybe 20 minutes to kill him. He's got a lot of life. He's got a lot of interrupt. It's a, it's an annoying one. So yeah, journey to Brightwood Isle and destroy Art, Mini Art Minister's Have of Lock. Let's go find him and see. There's a couple people already running here. And we need to do look for chests as well. So we got a couple here. We got a couple over there. I'm gonna go straight into it. We do have like four chests in the house where he's located. Let's see if we are kind of lucky with the chest we come along the way. Alchemy crates nothing in here. Yeah, let's pick up these two little crates that we have over here. Are you gonna blow up? No, he's not gonna blow up. No, 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 no. So the abandoned well, actually. Okay, the well it seems works as a loot container as well. Interesting. And it's probably gonna be inside of the house. It would make sense, right? That the item that we actually need is gonna be in the house. Let's uh, look for these here. Oh, there we go. So it's not in the house. It can drop uh, randomly. And there we go, guys. There he is. Oh, let's get it fast so we can actually get a hit in before he dies. Go, 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 go. So chest down here. Got a couple of chests up there. Yo, where the hell? Yeah, just wait. He'll come back. So sometimes he does that. He teleports out and then there he is again. I think somebody is actually pulling aggro on the outside. Come on, dude. Time to open the chest or two then. And let's kill him. Hey, you can see level 60, 625 gear. He still is taking a lot of hits for me to actually kill him. And that was with uh, three people that were level 60. So <laughs> it uh, it is a tough boss to do solo, guys. I'm, I'm warning you if you're lower level, you want to actually do this. Yeah, we've killed him. We've got the necklace. Let's return to Ethelwyn. And yeah, I'm doing two, uh, two quests in this episode, guys. Else the episode was going to be way too short. It was like three minutes or something like that. That is a little bit too short. I'll, like, I keep him around... Well, between between 5 and, and 15 minutes max for quest chains. Or for quests, actually. And most quests do end up... Because they're lower level and uh, basically I just run through everything. They do end up uh, being rather short sometimes. But yeah, Let's uh, go see what Edelwyn has to say. Uh, probably she's really really grateful that i solved all of her troubles or at least troubles for now miss you really did it of course emmeline's necklace sees a little charm at the end at first i regretted coming back so many old ghosts but i can start putting them to rest thanks to you you are most welcome. That is what I do here on Eternum. I put people's minds to ease. Alright, complete the quests. And there we go. First of the three new quest chains are done. If you look at stories. Yeah, Suffering of the Lost Done. So next we have Heart of Darkness or Bright Woods Dark Past. So if you look at the map right now. I don't see any quests in Brightwood. And there's not one in settlement either. So I really wonder where these quests are gonna pop up from. That's a repeatable quest. A toy maker's request expedition. So there, there is a repeatable quest. So I saw... Like earlier we picked up a quest I think was here on the cliff. 
And I was wondering why there... I thought I saw a repeatable quest, but now it's not here anymore. A toy maker's request character. Territories. Brightwood. Gates of Great Cleave. Darkness in the Brightwood. Gates of Great Cleave. But I did all quests in Great Cleave. So that is rather strange. And then... What was the other one? Uh, Darkness in Brightwood. Complete the Brightwood arc starting with Gates of Great Cleave. And that's really strange why we have two quests, but they're basically not showing up here. It might be possible because we still have Desire for a Child here. That once we do this quest, the Elder Quest here will actually pop up. But I kind of find it strange that a quest in Weaver's Fen would actually hold back a quest in Brightwoods. Or it might be possible that they're maybe bugged. Anyway, we'll have to see that later on, guys. For now, we are done at least with this quest chain. So I'm gonna sit my ass down here like I always do and end this episode up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my Let's Play here in New World or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.